Today we're going to be discussing how to add a finish to plastic pieces. It's one of the things that you can do in a wet blast process that you can't necessarily do in a dry blast process because this process is so gentle and it cleans by flow. So we're gonna be discussing how to add a finish to these pieces. These came from a dirt bike. They're just the side pieces, but they are plastic. And we're gonna be discussing why vapor honing is the best alternative or best cleaning process four parts like this. So we're back with our after results. This one on the left is glass bead and this one on the right is an aluminum oxide that we blasted in. Now both abrasives are super fine and vapor honing obviously is able to blast plastic pieces without damaging them. But more of the how-to side of it, you always wanna start with a lower pressure. Maybe start at like a 30, 40, or 50 PSI and increase is needed. I ended up at about 60 on these parts just to have the same comparison side by side of 60 PSI of each abrasive. Now I probably could have gone a little bit higher on that, but as you can see this piece in the middle, it was kind of a little bit flimsy before, so I don't want to damage that anymore. So I stuck right at 60, but lower pressure is the way you want to go with these parts. So I would definitely start there, but you can see how it cleaned these greases, oils, just different stains up on the parts. It cleaned it up very well. Obviously there is a little bit more staining from greases and oils on this side than there was on this one. Perhaps why it didn't come completely free of the staining given that this plastic piece is white. But it did clean them up fairly quickly. It took me about three to five minutes on each of these to blast them. So not very long at a lower pressure. It may take you a little bit longer. 